Start your journey with us by choosing your country. Select yes, I have a Maybank account if you're an existing customer, or no, I don't if you're new. Select your business type. From the landing page, you can easily select and apply for bank products and services through the portal. Cash management, merchant solutions, and access to M2E trade platform can be applied under a unified application. You will also require to have an existing trade facility with the bank for M2E trade application. And click Apply Now to continue. Fill in your business registration number and contact person details. Save and Next. Check your email for the OTP and click Confirm to complete this step. Enter the OTP you just received in this field to continue. Here are the details of your selected service package, which includes all bundled products and services you have chosen. This application is structured into sections based on the products and services selected. Let's start by completing the first section with your general business information. It takes only three steps to complete your business details information. Step one, complete your business details. Fill in your business mailing address. Step two, complete the business details for post terminal. If your outlet address differs from your registered business address with SSM, proceed with selecting no and proceed to fill in the other registered outlet address. Step three, complete the business details for QR PayBiz. Now, let's continue to provide your details for the M2E RCMS. Account accessibility, add in accounts that you wish to view under M2E RCMS. Click Add Account to add in your first account details. Fill in the account details. Select your account type. Select Yes if you would like to set this account as a primary charge account to handle all banking fees and charges. Your home currency is pre-selected for convenience. For foreign currency accounts, you can explore and add other currencies to suit your needs. Click on Add once completed. Add on additional accounts if needed. Information and access settings. Assign roles to the users who require online banking access. Select Add User to configure the first user. Fill in the user's details. User roles available for selection will vary based on the service package you have chosen. By default, data entry and authorizer roles have viewer access. Data entry, one who initiates payments. Authorizer, one that is assigned to authorize payments. Viewer only, one who is only given view access. Example one, let's assign data entry role to the user. By default, system admin maker functions are assigned to all data entry users. This role initiates administrative tasks such as managing user maintenance and setting up notifications. Product access are pre-selected based on selected service package. You can remove access if needed. Grant access to the accounts the user is permitted to access. 
provides authorized users with access to view restricted or sensitive information exclusively for payroll products. Review your details and click Save to finish setting up this online banking user role. The data entry setup is completed. Example 2. Authorizer role is assigned to another user. Example 3. Assign another user as data entry and authorizer role. By default, system admin checker functions are granted to all authorizers. This role approves the initiated administrative changes. If a user is assigned both the authorizer and data entry roles, they can be designated as a super user to authorize their own transactions. A non-super user, however, can only authorize transactions initiated by other data entry users. Review the user roles before proceeding. Set up your matrix by choosing how many authorizers are needed to approve this transaction. To proceed, kindly complete this section for M2E trade details. We will replicate the online banking roles from your cash management setup to M2E trade roles. Similarly, we will replicate the authorization matrix from your cash management setup to M2E trade. Subsequently, proceed to the post-terminal section to complete your application. Fill in the director or partner's details. Here's to add on additional directors or partners. Enter your Maybank business account number. If you're storing the card data, proceed with selecting yes and proceed to provide additional details regarding the form and type of data being stored. If Maybank's electronic data capture, EDC terminal, is connected to your network, or if you key in the card details in other devices like cash register machine, then proceed to fill in the following details. Grant access for users to view and retrieve e-statements from the merchant portal. Fill in the user's details. Use the option menu, three dots, to edit or remove users if necessary. Once all users are added, click Save and Next to continue. Finally, proceed by filling the remaining details for your QR Pay Biz application. Create a unique username for your QR Pay Biz login. Enter your valid mobile number. Generate a secure six digit PIN. Kindly enter your Maybank business account number as the default account. Once done, click Save and Next. You can review or edit any section if needed. Add in the authorized signatories listed in your board resolution to complete the application. Click on Add to continue. Use the Options menu, three dots, to edit or remove signatories if necessary. Once all signatories are added, click Save and Next to continue. Review and approve your application details here. Use the left menu to navigate and review your application. Tick to confirm the terms and conditions. As the final step, upload your supporting documents. Step 1. Download the generated M2E application form. Step 2. 
ensure all authorized signatures are obtained on the application form. Step 3. Upload the signed M2E application form together with a copy of your board resolution, certified by your company secretary. Submit your board resolution. Upload all mandatory documents required for this application. Please upload the supporting documents if applicable. Your application has been successfully submitted. Kindly leave us your feedback.